What's up? This is EZOSX, and today we're talking about Mac maintenance. Most of the time, your Mac doesn't require any maintenance to run. Occasionally, it's a good idea, though, to restart and do a couple things to keep it up in top shape. So today, we're going to go over a little bit of that. If your Mac is running slow and you haven't turned it off in a while, a good reboot can help clear up the RAM, free up resources, and make your Mac run more efficiently until you turn it off again. Next. Make sure your Macintosh hard drive, the amount of storage space you have inside your Mac, doesn't get more than 90% used space. In other words, at least 10%, if not more, of your Mac's hard drive should be free. For actually any computer, Windows, Linux, Mac, if it gets to that size where most of your space is used and you have less than 10% free, your computer starts to slow down. To check, go to, go up for Macintosh HD, right click, and hit Get Info. You can see I have a about 160 gig hard drive and I've used a little more than half of it. I've used about 81 gigs of it. So I'm doing pretty good on space. If you're less than this, again, in my case I have a 160 gig hard drive. If I get around 16 gigs of free space or less, then I definitely want to do some clearing out. I want to either get rid of some files, delete some apps, etc. And in case you noticed it going up on how much free space, uh, use space I have, excuse me, uh, that's because obviously I'm recording this video and it's writing files to the disk. So, just in case you spotted that, I want to let you know. A third thing you want to do is repair your disk permissions. Disk permissions are, let me open this real quick, disk permissions are what apps and files and programs can use to access a certain part of your computer. And occasionally these get messed up either just in everyday use or if something goes wrong, for example, a power outage. So if you want to access this, go to, let me back out, go to Applications folder, go into Utilities, and hit Disk Utility. This will also allow you to partition the drive, burn disk images and CDs, etc. Click on your Macintosh HD and check this first aid tab here. You'll notice a Verify Disk and Verify Disk Permissions. Verify disk you'll want to run every once in a while, uh, but especially if you notice any kind of startup problems or really slow boot up times. In the meantime, hit verify disk permissions. You'll want to run this about once a month, it's probably best, but definitely no more than once a week. Or again, if you have any kind of problems, if you're noticing, for example, I use this to fix a problem with OpenOffice not being able to run the Java runtime environment. That's just a fancy thing of it not being able to write and save documents. I'll put a description to uh, the fix I wrote for that uh, on my blog. You can check that in the uh, description box. Anyway, but you'd hit verify disk permissions and then repair disk permissions uh, after it's done. Depending on the speed and age of your Mac, it could take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes to uh, about an hour to verify. And then likewise, uh, a little bit longer for repair disk permissions, but always let that finish up. Now one thing to note here is that a lot of times you'll see something about Java needing a permissions repair. Apple has said you don't need to worry about that unless you're really having a problem with Java. So for example like what I had with OpenOffice uh, that I wrote about on my blog or uh, any other thing with Java that's not running correctly, most of the time you won't have to worry about that. Just hit repair and it'll be fine. Those are all for built-in Mac uh, utilities. But if you want to run something a little bit more, if you want something more thorough, there's a free tool you can use. And now that I think about it, I probably shouldn't have closed the utilities folder. But I'm uh, going to go back to it. And I put in utilities, but you can check it out in your uh, applications folder if you want. Download a free program called Onyx. I'll put a link to it in the description from uh, CNET.com uh, where to download it. It's a free program. And what it'll ask you to do is first ask you to let you check your smart status, which is just the boot up thing. I'm going to cancel that. This is the verifying startup volume, which is the same thing as disk utilities verify startup disk. And I'm going to cancel that. It's going to ask you for your password. And I'm going to give it to you, or give it to him, it, whatever. And you got a lot of, you bring up the help files, kind of annoying, but, uh, You'll see a bunch of things like verifying the preference files, structure. This whole thing is pretty much just like what Disk Utility does. You've got maintenance. Oh, excuse me. This is permission. Excuse me. Uh, running scripts. 
uh, the daily, weekly, and monthly scripts, and you can force those to run. Rebuilding parts to your Mac. You've got cleaning files for anything from internet history to caches, etc. Those are good if uh, maybe you got a file that's not running in your browser. Use something like that to clean it up. Uh, pretty much what you'll mostly want to do is just hit automation and let the default stuff run, which is just uh, temporary recent items, logs, users, font, and system cache, rebuilding some stuff, and repair and execute permissions and maintenance scripts. Excuse me. It looks pretty complicated, but if you just run the automation stuff, then you'll pretty much be fine. And occasionally, you might want to check Spotlight Index or Mail Index if you're having any kind of problems with those. And then you just hit Execute. So those are the main automation steps for keeping your Mac maintained and healthy and stuff. If you're noticing any real problems, though, take it into an Apple Store, a Mac Authority, or any kind of other uh, Apple repair dealer and let them take a look at it if you're having any kind of real problems. And most of the stuff you really won't have to run unless there is actually a problem. A lot of it is automated with the exception of restarting and occasionally disk utility. Uh, but most, like I said, most of this is automated. You won't have to deal with it. These are just steps if you want to take a more proactive approach to keeping your Mac maintained. And always remember to update. That's always very important. This has been EasyOSX talking about Mac maintenance, and thank you for watching. Be sure to check me out more on Twitter and on my blog, easyosx.wordpress.com. Thank you.